Hi, my name is Nikhil Sapre. I'm one of the consultant urologists at Toowoomba Hospital at Darling Downs Health. Uh, I've been a consultant urologist now for uh, just under six months. Um, I, I was fortunate enough to start my training at Toowoomba Hospital um, six years ago uh, and then um, went to Melbourne, Victoria to finish my training um, and a full circle, full circle back to um, Toowoomba Hospital, back here to work as a consultant again and um, absolutely excited to start this new venture. Uh, urology is a very competitive process. There's only about 15 to 20 people in all of Australia and New Zealand who get selected to start urology training every year and there would be more than 70 or 80 applicants, um, very good applicants for this. So uh, it was definitely a very competitive process, uh, but if you're passionate about it, if you're enthusiastic and you prepare yourself, this, there's definitely a very good chance that you can do uh, urology training and, and be very good at it. There are plenty of benefits of training and working in a regional community. As a urology registrar, I started my journey in urology training in Toowoomba Hospital and it was fantastic because I was the only registrar here, I got a lot of responsibility and there was a lot of, a lot of work here, a lot of patient care, a lot of operating and I really loved the community feel. I got to know all of my consultants, the nurses in the hospital really well and it was, I loved that community feeling which is very hard to get in a big centre where you might not see and interact with the same people as often. Toowoomba has both private and public hospitals, so there's opportunity to be involved in, in public uh, patients as well as in the care of private hospitals where you get to do some surgery where you don't, that you don't do in the public hospitals. In addition, it's a fantastic opportunity to actually provide outreach services and in urology. We travel to Kingaroy in Roma. Um, from here, um, you can either drive or fly there uh, and stay there, um, consulting and operating there and, and come back. So there's fantastic opportunities for, for traveling, for work as well, which I love. The other advantage of being a regional center is um, it's a great lifestyle. Toowoomba has fantastic weather, got very nice cafes, restaurants, great place to live. If you're a person with kids, uh, it's got great schools. I don't spend two hours a day in the car like a lot of specialists in the city. So it's a fantastic lifestyle and I can practice the majority of what I've trained to do here in Toowoomba. So it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a great specialty if you like regional medicine. The urology training program ad administered by the USANS on the behalf of RAX is a, a minimum of five years of, of training, which involves one year of basic urology training, two years of intermediate urology training, and two years of advanced urology training. After finishing training and gaining fellowship uh, from the Royal Australian, Australasian College of Surgeons, people often travel overseas for extra training, which is a great way to expand your skill set as well as travel the world and gain new experiences. So the entry requirements or prerequisites for urology training are to have general medical registration with the Medical Board of Australia, be a citizen of Australia or New Zealand or a permanent resident of Australia, completion of at least two years of postgraduate training, and the earliest year of entry is PGY3, and completion of the RAC's hand hygiene learning module, and completion of the RAC's operating with respect e-learning module and completion of the generic surgical sciences exam. In addition to the RAC's entry requirements, there are also USAN's specialty specific eligibility criteria and these keep changing and I would encourage people to look at the USAN's website for the most updated information on what these are. To apply, you have to first register with the Royal Australian, Australian College of Surgeons and once you've registered, your application is assessed based on your CV your, uh, and your references uh, and, um, candidate, and successful candidates will be offered an interview with a view to getting onto urology training if you, if you pass the interview process. The responsibility of selection into the SET program for urology is organised by the USANS or the Urological Society of Australia and New Zealand. USANS collaborates with the RACs as an agent of the college to administer the training program in Australia and manage the Board of Urology. For further information on the selection and application process, please visit the USANS website. So once you've gained entry and started urology training, the Board of Urology in USANS will allocate you for a rotation of training every year for the five years of training. So once you've gained entry and started urology training, the Board of Urology in USANS will allocate you 
for a rotation of training every year for the five years of training. There are plenty of things that you can do um, to have a good chance of training in urology. Um, a lot of the generic information is available on the USANS website, which everyone should have a look at. Uh, but in addition to that, there's a few things I would definitely recommend uh, that people do. I think the first and the most important thing for me is to really find mentors in urology as early as you can when you are thinking about potentially training in urology in medical school even. Um, try and find registrars, consultants, and they will help not only inspire you to do urology, but hopefully guide you along the process. Secondly, I think to get as much exposure to urology as possible, following registrars, um, you know, on an evening when they see patients in emergency, when they're operating in theater, it's a great, great way to do it. And thirdly, being involved in urology research is also something you can do that's very useful uh, to get onto urology training and expose yourself to urology more. One of the things I absolutely love about urology is the ability to make a huge difference in patients' lives. Uh, when it comes to managing people with cancer, um, you know, it's a fantastic experience to watch them beat cancer, go through that journey, and you follow them up for a long period of time. Uh, there's also a lot of uh, patients where we really help with quality of life such as with kidney stones or BPH where we help them pee better uh, and they're very grateful for that uh, and to do all these things we use a lot of technology and innovation in urology such as lasers, robotic surgery, laparoscopic surgery. So if you're someone who loves technology and innovation I think urology is one of the best specialties you can consider to do if you like surgery.